Hey, Anna Marie Gabby here, and for this video, I'm going to give you a guide on how to use Yodayo AI. Now, you're probably wondering, Gabby, what the heck is Yodayo AI? Well, it's a creative space for anime lovers like myself, and especially VTubers, to create AI art. I love using Yodayo to create unique anime AI art since they have over 2,000 art styles. One of the great things about Yodayo is if you're a new user, you will automatically get 400 Yo Beans, which is their currency, as well as 100 daily Yo Beans. Later in this video, I will explain what those beans would be used for. The Explore tab is where you can browse through different AI art people have created and be able to like, comment, even dislike a post, as well as follow a creator. You can also control your Explore page from sensitive images by clicking the Not Safe for Work button depending on your preference. There are three sections in the Explore tab where you can look at art from. In the Recent section, it will obviously be all the art that are getting posted at that moment. In the top section are the most engaged art posts with the top likes and comments. And lastly, in the follow section is where you can find all the art from the creators you follow. Unfortunately, I don't follow anybody, so it's blank for me. Now to the fun and my favorite part of Yodayo, the generator. Bum bum bum. The prompt section is where you can write all the things you want your AI image to look like. And if you can't think of anything, Right below that section, there is a button called Random Prompt that will erase and replace your prompt with prompts from experienced generators so you can experiment with. Another way is by clicking the eye icon on some of the images in the Explore tab to see the prompts they use to create that image. Lastly, you can utilize the search feature to type in prompts to see other images generated using that prompt. There are over 2,000 art styles to choose from on the model section, giving you options of what kind of style you want your image to look like. If you're creating a certain character, that is where the spell section would come in. For example, when I was creating my Boa Hancock images, I used the spell Boa Hancock, so the generator can specifically know what I was going for. This is where your Yo Beans come in. Now, if you want to generate your image cool quickly, I would suggest you use High Priority. It will only cost 5 Yo Beans, but it will only take 3 to 20 seconds to generate. If you have some time to spare or just multitasking and you don't want to use your Yo Beans, you can turn the high priority toggle off. There won't be any cost to generate your image, but it will be slow depending on how many users there are creating images as well. Once your image is done, an enhance button will appear along with a download and post button. You can always play around with this to experiment on your art, but it will cost some Yo Beans. Lastly, Yodayo has created a new beta feature that's called Tavern, where it allows the users to chat with their favorite VTuber or anime character like Yor Forger. As an anime lover, of course I had to start a conversation with Yor. I first started my conversation with something simple, which is, what is your favorite anime, Yor? And she replied back, Grand Crest Senkai or Sen Q. You know what guys, I've never heard of this anime, don't come after me, all right? So I did a little digging and I realized what it was, okay? But in English, it's something completely different. So I asked Yor, why is that your favorite anime? And she replied something, you know, a little basic of, you know, with the interesting characters, plot twists, beautiful artwork and music. Fair enough, like most, not all anime, but most animes are. Because I'm a huge fan of Spy Family. Remember guys, if you say Spy X Family, that's wrong, that X is silent. But anyways, if you guys couldn't tell, I have this huge Anya display poster with her 3 billion berry bounty. So of course I had to ask her what she thinks about her daughter. If she's evil, if she's nice, who knows? Well, of course, since she's her mother, she has to say all good things, all good things about her. Now, this is part of the conversation where it gets a bit more interesting. I just simply asked, because of my Anya poster, if she has heard of One Piece. And to my surprise, she has, but has never watched it. So, I discovered if you use the little star icon on the keyboard, you know, like with the little eight, you can put an action into the conversation. For example, I just put, your has now watched One Piece. Okay, simple. To my surprise, it worked. Her response after watching One Piece was it was an exciting journey with Luffy and his crew and just described how heartwarming moments it was to unforgettable experiences, which I mean, it makes One Piece One Piece. 
Also, just a disclaimer, you can't watch One Piece in one night, okay? It's impossible. It has over a thousand episodes. No one can do it. Anyways, back to the chat. So because she have seen One Piece, I asked her, what's your take on the treasure? What do you think the treasure is? And she responded that it could represent something deeply significant or valuable in life. Which, I mean, I can't say anything wrong about that. I can't fight her on that because I don't even know what the One Piece is. But you know who does? I think Anya. Because maybe that's how she got the 3 billion bounty on her. To end my conversation with Yor, I just simply asked her who would win in a fight between her or her husband Lloyd. And to no surprise, she chose herself to win. At the end, she did leave a sweet message that she does respect her husband Lloyd. Now, you can't have any kind of conversations with the characters you choose, from innocent to interesting conversations like me and your, or the not so innocent conversations. But in any case, it does seem you are actually chatting with a real person. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and make sure you visit the Yoda Yo AI website and join their Discord, mine as well. And I will go ahead and link it down below in the description. And if you do visit Yoda Yo, make sure to follow me at Anime Gabby and like all my posts. By all I mean one. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!